morning! Today is the first day of December. From the messy closet, I have taken out my first dress of the month. So here it is. Get ready, get excited with me. This is gonna be fun. Here's the outfit. Um, I have this, how do you call this? It's not even quarter length. It's just like an awkward length sleeve. And this is from Costco, I think it's my mom's. And then I'm wearing this camo dress that is my sister's. And then I'm wearing black tights, and we're ignoring the messy room behind me. So yeah, this is the first dress of December. How do you guys like it? So I finished my makeup. I don't have any lipstick on because I'm going to go eat, so it's fine. So I just have the, um, what's it called? The I have the Visanti Extreme Kajal Eyeliner um, as the base color, and then I have my Face Shop Eyeliner. I have a bit of um, the Face Shop, like, shadow stick under my eye just for more pop of color and shine got eyebrows on based on I think this is a two house strong eyebrow pencil amazing I've got my concealer from face shop fit me powder um, nose contour just slightly and we Gucci ready to go into the world today so my dad just told me he had this weird dream Papa, tell us the story a friend or relative who came by with a very brand new black Mercedes Benz, a very classic one, a very beautiful and expensive one. Then suddenly uh, he parked the car outside the house and then later on when we wanted to drive somewhere to somewhere, we discovered the car was chopped into two. <laughs> Somebody, I don't know who, and the, the other half was on the opposite side of the road in somebody's backyard. Then when we when we came out, we saw half of a car was on our side and the other car on the other side. And uh, it could be a hit and run case, but how did the car sort of uh, chop into two pieces and so neatly done? Nobody knows. So I so I told uh, JC, I think. My, my nephew. In your dream. In my dream. To make a report to the police, ring 911, to say what happened, to make them come and, and uh, make an uh, investigation. And that's about all. When I got up, I was telling myself, what kind of dream was that? Is it a dream to warn me not to drive today or my family not just to stay home and not do any driving? I don't know. Maybe that is the sign or uh, a warning. So, it, up to now, I'm still very fuzzy and don't understand my, what, what the, the, the dream was all about. That's all. <laughs> so, Dream Interpreter is also in the house. The, the meaning of the dream is, he misses his car. And he feels a, a bit guilty of the, selling the car. Because Mercedes is always our favorite car. I don't think so. So, if you guys have any theories about what my dad's dream means, leave it in the comments below. And yeah, I'm gonna eat breakfast now. I'm so hungry. What the heck? So now I'm eating breakfast. Finally, it's like 11:30. Uh, so my breakfast is rye bread toasted with peanut butter and this thing called floss meat. If you're Asian, you know what this is. And then I'm gonna eat a banana. And then I'm gonna have <laughs> just your casual serving of fruit, a lot of pineapple. And I've got my green tea, gin, my cha. This is the brand that I usually drink. I don't know if you can read that, but yeah, this is awesome. I love this. Best breakfast. We are on our way to Ikea to get a Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. And we are, yeah, this is our first year ever choosing a live Christmas tree. I think we just never wanted to do the cleanup and we're just like, um, fake it was always easier. But you know what, this is a new year and our Christmas tree that we have at home is gross and small and skinny and so we're gonna get a tick one. Yay! So close to the trees, Gamish over Ray. there. So far. Like we that and said I want to get a tree. My Lord Jesus, you provide us a parking. Trees. the same so this one so green this one is it high enough 
I pushed it most of the way. Then my mom just wanted a little. And the dog cat. Okay. <laughs> Can you push? You know, this is amazing because she got her hip surgery. Look how well she's walking on that tree. Yes, girl. Push. Hi. We're here at Ikea. This is our outfits today. Mom, why didn't you decide to join me in December? <laughs> Good enough answer. Now we're at the cafeteria park where everybody comes to Ikea. We're in line to get food. It's going to be a while. I'm choosing a lot. Okay, finally, we're sat at a table with food. A veggie ball. Veggie ball? Yeah, Swedish veggie ball. And then I got the butter chicken, which is exciting. I don't know how Swedish people are going to eat butter chicken. Um, and then we have a slice of Interesting to note that we've been to an Ikea in Malaysia. Mom's been there several times and they actually serve different things. So they don't serve like Swedish meatballs, they serve like fried chicken, they serve noodles. noodles. Yeah. Then they have a curry puff, chicken curry puff, they have fried mee hoon. The local food, very nice. So yeah, it differs from place to place, which I thought was really interesting. But yeah, we're gonna enjoy our lunch now. Other than that, you're working in us and in the people around us, and I just want to bless the hands and names too. Bless IKEA Lord that it turns towards you, and that all of its workers do their very best to serve the community, and no one gets sick from this food. Thank you, Lord. You have your great honor. Okay, so we totally assassinated all that food. So, what are your thoughts on it? My uh, vegetable bowl, very good. It's like a kid's meal. A kid's meal, very good. Because they don't have anything that is uh, too pungent. And then the sauce is not uh, creamy. It's okay, rate the whole meal out of 10. I must say 8 or 7.5. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. So I think that my total meal, so I had the butter chicken and I thought it was pretty good. I think that they use less spices than like, you know, real Indian people do their butter chicken with. So it's good for white people who are trying to get into that, you know, put their feet into that cuisine but aren't really like sure. So I thought it was good, really sweet. I think they put a lot of like tomato paste in it, so it was really good. And then um, I thought the salad was salad so can't really mess that up i thought this cake was yeah not too sweet you instantly eat it and you're like almonds but you're not like sweet weird like a, you know that the perfume kind of almond taste it's not that it's like the authentic almonds it tastes kind of like if somebody just ate a bunch of almonds and just spit it back onto a cake it's exactly like that it's so good and then the hot chocolate is just from a packet so yeah i would rate this meal i think 7.5 it's pretty good yeah, we'll come again. So I was just at Home Depot and I bought um, a tree stand and some light bulbs. I didn't even know a tree stand was so essential. You know, like I didn't think about that, but yeah, it costs money. It was like 15 bucks, but like whatever. Um, but yeah, so when I was buying the tree stand, the people who were helping me, like there were two guys, they look like they're older than me to be honest. And they called me ma'am. At the end they were like, do you need help with anything else ma'am? And I was like, no. But like, when did I turn into a ma'am, guys? I'm 20 years old. I'm still like a miss, okay? I'm I'm definitely a miss. I'm an M-I-S-S, -S, not the M-S period. So, yeah, does anybody else feel this way? Like, you, you are a miss, but people call you ma'am, and you're like, what? When did I get old? Anyway, going back home, setting up the tree, let's do this. So, that's... That's fun for me. But look at it, it's so big, like wow, only $25 at Ikea, cool. This is going to be super fun to decorate and I think the leaves or the top branches will like fall down on its own. This is just so you understand how tall it is. 
so I'm like five seven I would say and it's like touching the ceiling so it's it's a pretty big tree not gonna brag but wow my first live tree exciting exciting I think I'm gonna regret oh, this Christmas. when I have to evacuate oh. like every week I'm walking up and down the stairs um, usually I would just go to the gym but my gym has this really fun thing where it closes at 6 p.m. on weekends so um, I'm just doing this as my workout right now so I'm gonna do some stairs for like 20-30 minutes and then do some weight exercises and yeah just keep going up and down the stairs Okay, so right now I'm with people from Swan and we're about to do Bible study. I'm wearing a dress and I hate it. Like I wish I could wear a sweater. Like look at this. So I'm wearing nice. shorts. Oh, <laughs> we're like this is a sweater. Oh my god. I have to wear a sweater dress. But yeah, we're gonna have Bible study. Oh, are you doing it's that dress? Gonna be a good time? Yeah, dress summer. So Wait, is this gonna be an Instagram? Talk to you after. I'm back from um, small group and still loving the tree. We're keeping a bear just until tomorrow, I think, whenever I have time to actually do something with it and like put ornaments and stuff. But yeah, wearing this t shirt dress that's actually from my sister's closet. Thanks, JJ, for being away for 10 days on a mission trip. Love you. Um, and eating grapes. Um, so usually I will wear like sweats to small group because that's just like the feel, you know, cozy. But because I'm doing the dress ember thing. I had to wear a dress with tights. Um, and like, I, I, I think I look good, so like, that's nice. But like, I miss the feeling of sweats, so yeah, there's that. But you know what, just for December, it's a cool experiment. Still digging, you know, dresses. It's fly, this is day one. So keep watching, I'm gonna be trying to do as many of these as I can, saying daily, but like, if I had missed a day, Oh well, I have exams and stuff, okay? Take, give, give me a break. So yeah, like this video, subscribe if you want to keep following me for more vlogs this sep this December. Why do I want to say September? So that's day one down. Bye!